Hello, today's video is on stock number 35797TE, the uh, 200 kilohertz uh, single channel uh, scope. It uh, comes with a plug transformer. Uh, very short lead, it's only about 32, 33 inches long, uh, but it does come with a plug transformer and a BNC to alligator clip uh, probe. Well, let me, show you. let me show you this first. Uh, the bottom, that's where you plug in the power, 9 volt DC. You have your on off switch. Uh, on the top of it, you have AC DC ground for, for your coupling, your switch. It has a nice little 1 kilohertz square wave generator right there at the tip, and your BNC input. Okay, plug that on, and plug in the power. As you can see, it's a nice small handheld unit. These are one inch square, so it's about four inches, four and a half inches, including the, uh, the little uh, BNC connector. Hook up to the little square wave generator at the tip. Oops, let's see, what do we got? Turn up the, there we go. Get a little something more going. Show you what's going on there, okay. Let's see, what can I say? Single channel, 200 kilohertz bandwidth, 12-bit uh, resolution, 50-volt peak input. Uh, it's good for the hobbyists. Uh, it's a low frequency. Uh, it's a very basic scope. Does not have a lot of the features that a, obviously a big, more expensive one would have, but it's, it's, it's a nice little thing to have, it, have around to use and not worry about losing or getting it damaged. Let's see here. It has uh, four buttons across it. Uh, this is your your voltage division, your time division, your trigger set, and an OK button. I'll show you what that does in a moment. And it has a rotary encoder and a push button. So the first button is your uh, first button is your voltage divi division. I'm sorry. It allows you to set between. 5 millivolts all the way up to 20 volts. You press it again and you see you have this nice little uh, this arrow turns blue that allows you to set the vertical adjustment on it. Oops, get the voltage down. There we go. Uh, the next button you have is the timing. You can adjust that time all the way from 10 microseconds all the way up to about 500 seconds. But I did find this can get kind of glitchy when you start to get into the higher time range, the higher uh, trigger points. Over, uh, yeah, over 500, yeah, when you get close to 500 seconds, it can get a little buggy. Uh, let's see. You press it again. And you see the little top bar here turns blue. That allows you to scroll through the whole sample rate to look at your uh, your signal. Press it again. Uh, let's see. That allows you to toggle between fast mode and slow mode. Between and you have two little arrows there. That means you're in fast mode. Slide around to look at the, the sample rate. And with none, it's the slow scroll rate. Next you have trigger, you have three, auto, normal, and single. Um, most people probably just want to make sure it stays on auto. Uh, if you press it again, this little trigger uh, set point allows you to set where the, the, the trigger level is. At any point in time you want to get it back, you just press and hold, and it automatically jumps back to the midpoint, the mid value. Uh, let's see, also you have a choice between rising and falling edge. One of the little blue boxes around that. Last but not least is OK. That allows you to freeze when it's, it holds the signal or running. If you were to press and hold that, it allows you to come up with all the different uh, measurements on the screen. Got to be careful. It's real easy to press and hold again to get those measurements to go away. Oh. 
Okay, now you gotta make sure you got it back in the running mode. You hold running. Okay, that is the basic features of it. Uh, let's see, I happen to have a function generator over here. Let me go ahead and just show you what some other waveforms look like. There you go, you can, you can see a sine wave and I'll just adjust it up. Pretty simple, basic. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We did square wave, let's try triangle. As you can see, uh, basic, simple operation. And just for fun, I had a nice little audio source over here so we can see what an audio looks like. Oops. Change it to time. Just to look at it. Looks nice. How about that? An audio source. Okay, that is the basic operations of the units. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching our video.